Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today, I installed the new Android image on the Mikotronics R58X. And it looks like we have now the option for over the air firmware update. So that way you no longer have to connect a Windows laptop to apply the new Android image. And I'm using AZ screen recorder at the moment in 4K. So just to show you that we have connected the Mikotronics to a 4K screen. So here you can see the resolution, 4K. And we're also going to do a test by recording in 4K while playing a 4K YouTube video. And well, that's unfortunately with AC screen recorder, you have to choose between the internal audio and the microphone. So I just opted for the microphone so you won't hear any audio from the video. So we'll set it to 4K. And I'm also going to show you the stats for nerds. And you can see that the YouTube video is in 4K. And this all looks like it usually looks in 4K. But like I said, uh, unfortunately with AC screen recorder, uh, you have to choose between the microphone or the internal audio. So I think this is enough for now. And with the previous image, Android image, there was um, a problem with Chrome, so that's fixed. And there was also a separate Mikrotronics camera app for the HDMI import. So that is still available, uh, the HDMI import, but uh, you have to access it through the live TV app. Uh, I'm not really sure if the microphone will keep working. Uh, so if things are silent when I switch to the HDMI import, then yeah, then you will um, know that the microphone has been switched off. So, but we'll see. So this was just a quick demo of AC screen recorder 
recording the screen in 4K on the Mikotronics R58X. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate you have to choose between the microphone or internal audio. Um, that's why I prefer X Recorder, but X Recorder it doesn't have the option to record in 4K at the moment, but it X Recorder can record both the microphone and internal audio at the same time. So we'll see which one gets the update first, you know, X Recorder perhaps enabling 4K recording or AC Screen Recorder enabling recording the microphone and internal audio at the same time. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.